golfers, James Urquhart here. I am here at Torquay Golf Club in Torquay's studio. Whoa, who's this? Come across a legend pumping iron, picking up some serious swing speed. Beginning to get worried he might catch up with me any minute. Who knows? Anyway, digressing. You are in for a treat today, guys. I am about to show you my new Cobra bats that I've got for 2019. Stealth deep, shall we? That's good. bag is my driver the cobra f9 speedback really really nice club got the uh you've got two weights just weights you've got 14 gram uh which you can either put at the back or the front two gram goes either way uh, 14 gram i've got set at the front basically just gets me hitting my trajectory a little lower um, it is a nine degree driver that i've got set on minus one which means it is turned into an eight degree driver so i'm just trying to lower my spin with this one right here Hit it a few times in Spain, absolutely loved it. It is a really, really nice golf club and would definitely recommend it. For all my grips throughout the bag, I've just got standard Lampkin and my shafts in my driver, forward and hybrid are the hazardous smoke. Okay, so anyone in the market for a driver, King F9 Cobra is a very, very good price point of £350 retail, considering a lot of its competitors are around four fifty five hundred. And in all the testing I've done so far, it's very, very comparable. Okay, so for my fairway wood, I've got the Tor 4 slash 5 wood. Um, set at 16 degrees, it's actually a 17 and a half degree club. Just like that extra launch off the fairways. Do it off the tee as well, but generally off the of fairways. Love this King F9, really, really nice. And I love these rails here. I have no idea whether they make any difference. Probably psychological, but good club to have in the back. Okay, so with the King F9 Tor fairway wood, again, really, really good price point retailing at 219. So in the hybrid, I've got the three, which is set at 19 degrees. It is not adjustable, but for me that's fine because it's fit for purpose. Do let me know though in the comments down below whether you think Cobra should do adjustable hybrids. It is an interesting one because I've heard from a lot of people that they think it should be. What I love to utilize about this club is getting more control coming into the green. So it's got a great feel off the face, but when I'm coming into a par five green, trying to pop it up high and land it straight on the green, this one is the club of choice. Yeah, so I'm not usually a hybrid style player, but I have really enjoyed using the King F9 Baffler. It does buck the trend in that sense somewhat because I'm usually a sort of long iron style player, but retailing at 179, I think this uh, puppy's staying in the bag. Now this is an absolute stick of dynamite in the bag. Love this off the tee when I've got a tight tee shot and I want to pump on 250 up the middle. King Utility Forged. It's very similar to what I had before in the Titleist range, uh, the TMB. Goes a similar distance. I actually much prefer the look of this one in terms of performance. There's no great difference, to be honest with you. Got this one set at 19.5. So like I said before, I absolutely love this club. And if I had to pick a club that was my favourite, I think it would probably have to be this one. Retail at 149, very, very good. This isn't even fair. How ridiculously sexy is this golf club? King Forged MB from Pitching Wedge down to 4 Iron. They are really beautiful clubs, very similar to the MBs that I had previously in the title list. Very similar for Shaft as well. I've gone for the X100 AMT, only in black, so it's black on black. Looks unbelievable, performs unbelievable. Got two degrees strong just to keep my spin down a little bit. I get my spin up and they go absolutely nowhere. So two degrees strong just helps me to control it a little bit better in the wind. Okay, so obviously with irons, it depends on how many irons you're actually getting within the set. Okay, so for me, I've got seven irons and that retails at eight, four, nine. Titleist SM7s are still in the bag, so not gone all Cobra. I've got a 52 and a 58. Uh, the 58 is in the M grind and the 52 is in the F grind. They've both got eight degrees of bounce and I have X100 shafts in them. Really, really nice wedges. Was thinking of going all Cobra, but it would have been a bit rude considering he got this as my uh, Christmas bonus, eh, Danny boy? 
Okay, so like I said before, absolutely love my Titleist Vokey SM7s. Wouldn't change them for the world. Very, very good product. Potentially best wedges on the market, to be fair. Retailing at 129 and with, I think, an extra £25 for a stamp job. Okay, and last but not least, I have gone with the Ping Sigma G Test Putter. Really, uh, really like the feel of this putter as it's it's very traditional blade styled uh, putter with a massive toe hang as you can see there. So for me that helps because I tend to hood the putter on the way back, which means it's kind of closed coming on the way through. So with that extra bit of weight in the toe, it tends to sort of keep it square as I'm coming through the ball. Um, which brings me on to the point: definitely, definitely should get yourself tested out. For me, face balance putters don't work. This this putter works perfectly. Um, you know, getting yourself tested, getting yourself checked out for the right part for you is just as important as the lesson, in my opinion. So come on, what are you waiting for? Get testing, people. Whoopsie. Okay, and finally with the Ping Sigma G test, it's a great product, great weight to it, great feel off the face. Retailing at 149, I think it's a very good price. Really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my 2019 What's in the Bag. And if you enjoyed what you saw, give it a thumbs up and post any comments down below if you have any questions. Any questions at all, I will answer them. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you're watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.